How's it going everybody? My name is Skull Cells. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Stone video. Today, we're back. Damn. Such a long time. I don't know. I, I, just, I just have these days that are just, you know, a little bit more creative. And then I decided to record a video. But I have to start getting these days much, much more often. <laughs> because to be honest with you guys, I've been just uh, dropping the, the YouTube game. Um, I've been focusing on Twitch, honestly. I've been streaming like about six times a day, six times a week on Twitch, um, sometimes seven, uh, when the Shadow War came out, and I just have to get back into speed of things. Try to stream less, but also try to uh, focus on other areas of my life, be it YouTube as well, but also some personal stuff. Anyway, today we're taking a look at Butcher. Um, next in line after Brightling, I do believe we have done a Brightling video, and then after Butcher I'm gonna do an Anna video who, who came out in the meantime. We also have Jankrat joining us in the Nexus, but that'll be later on. Butcher has went through um, a rework uh, because after his first rework, he was just way too, he was just way too buff stompy, like in, even in GM, um, like Grandmaster level Hero League, he was just a, a monster. Uh, of course, when people know how to play against him, he's just he's terrible and he's not gonna achieve anything. Also, if the player is um, a little bit too overzealous, uh, he's also going to pay. But um, if you know how to play with him and if uh, your team knows how to play with you, then you should be golden. Well, he went over your work, he changed a little bit where he's he cannot just stack on minions anymore. He has to be actually in the thick of things, so he's actually a very good ganker, I think. Uh, he rotates very well. He still gets uh, he still gets his stacks from minions, but he gets much, much more now from hero kills. So we're going to try to make it work. I'm not a big... Look at that booty. Uh, I'm not a big... Um, Butcher player, but uh, we see what we can do, and let's go. God damn, that was a long ass loading time. I think our Kerrigan needs to change her hamster, dude. God damn. All right, boys and girls, find yourselves on Sky Temple. Sky Temple. I haven't played that map in a while, actually. Um, historically, not my favorite map, but definitely not the worst map in the game. So we we ought to have some fun, boys. Right, what do we go on this level range? Uh, we have block, which again against their team actually sounds pretty disgustingly good against the hammer and against the um, uh, the Illidan. Configuration looks good too. Increases hamstring damage non heroes. That actually looks good too if you don't need the block. But um, yeah, let's go for the block, I guess. Uh, gonna be good against Illidan. Uh, basically, over time, giving me two stacks of 75% armor against basic attacks. I'm gonna get hit by that Q. Cheeky, cheeky there, Kelp is out. Alright, my Q ability is kill shot in front of me. Uh, whoever it hits, it deals damage. Are you serious right now? Honestly. I'm not gonna pursue that. I'm gonna just, rather than that, I'm just gonna destroy some creep. Um, so you can see, uh, it's a very, very low cooldown, it's like four seconds or something. Um, I actually won't be able to lane, lane, lane against these two. They'll just push me out very hard. I'm already getting hit a lot. God damn. Okay, she didn't get me. That's fine. If that me was just lying there, I would have just went for it. <laughs> right under the gate. Destroy that uh, creep again. Uh, as you can see, it, de it deals damage and it also slows people. Uh, does it do anything else? No, that's it. It's just a very, very. Uh, it's a slow that phase, by the way. So it's not. It's not just you know just a static slow of fifty percent. Um, it's uh, it's kind of a fading slow. Looks like Zagar can actually very, very effectively poke me down. Um, should be able to get these two stacks as well. But I can see when you're stacking your your trade, by the way, um, which is fresh meat. For minions, it's super, super slow. It's 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 very, very chunky. Team, you're getting wrecked down here, team. And I can't even actually go in. That's actually super annoying. That's the most annoying part. I'm actually I might die here. No, I'm gonna ping again. Alright, whatever. Uh, our fresh meat, our trait is called 
fresh meat upon dying, nearby enemies uh, drop one fresh meat and enemy heroes drop 20 fresh meat. Uh, fresh meat can be picked up to gain 0.5 attack damage per meat. If the butcher loses, loses 15 um, fresh meat when, when he dies, you, and then the quest is you have to collect 200 of, the, of those fresh meats. And then once you do, you will increase your damage further by 125 and your attack speed by 25% and you will no longer uh, lose your meat. You can see there I use my uh, my unrelenting pursuit as it's called. No, it's called the ruthless, ruthless onslaught. Ruthless onslaught will allow you to charge to an enemy. It's a point and click ability. You basically charge them up until you hit them or up until I think like three seconds pass. I think it's a maximum of three seconds. Um, and at the end you will deal some damage and stun them, which obviously is super super great. A point and click stun is actually <laughs> just OP in Heroes of the Storm. Um, Anything that you you don't have to aim is actually pretty pretty OP. Um, on this level range, I might, I might go for the cooldown. Let's go unrelenting pursuit, which produces the cooldown of our of our E. If we do hit our target, if we don't, if we cancel it, or if anything else happens. By the way, we do become unstoppable while charging, so you know that's also pretty 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 important. You know, a kelp a kelp is out. It's just looking very tasty in the middle lane. Um, he's pushing that up. I mean, our team is just just honestly just split. Just, just split. Uh, I'm trying to like, you know, t take care of the hammer in the bottom lane, but it's not working too well, and I'm getting like no stacks at all. Kelf is out now. Bottom, our team is still not taking the objectives. Agara, charger. Gonna take a lot of poke damage here. I'll be fine though. I'll grab the grab the well. The, the block is going to stop some of, some of the onslaught. I'm going to ping again because my team doesn't want to have anything to do with it. I might go for this. I'm actually going to go in because I see Kelp is up in the middle lane. That's what I thought. Biatch. Get out of here. That's my, that's my house. Right. And my W is called Butchers of Brown. I basically uh, attach this to somebody and my auto attacks will then uh, heal me for I think 75% of the damage that I deal. Oh, you better suck me off. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, you basically to, uh, you basically attach it to somebody, then you will heal from your basic attacks. Basic attacks from for Butcher is gonna be the like big bulk of his damage. It's gonna be like almost all of his damage. Um, we are still somehow ahead, not sure how. This looks like the, the hammer plays that perfectly. She does a retreat and she uh, is gonna avoid just dying and giving me some meat. I want I want some meat, like bulk of her meat is gonna be coming from uh, from hero kills, honestly. And um, if I can't get that, dude, if I can't get kills, honestly, there's just no reason to... Um, Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of scare him here. Uh, looks like he's gonna attach a chain. I'm gonna try to get away. Looks like I am able to. Our f we're gonna go in lump to the slaughter. I'm, I'm gonna pick up lump to the slaughter. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of meat on the ground, which I'm, I'll just I'll happily pick up 20 meat by for 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 many year. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, if you ask me. Now lump to the slaughter is going to basically chain somebody to a lump post. Looks like this cigar is gonna be. Oh my gosh, she's not even there. It's like she wasn't even there. I need, I need that meat though. Yeah. Yeah, purple. Of course, I'm gonna play some more with you, my dude. Purple, my, my, my best ding dong, my best friend, dude. Coming, coming in with the OP, OP message. Um. Right, what was, what I was talking about? Yeah. So what it's gonna do is gonna basically chain somebody to a to a post which you which you push. By the way, look at the range of this this thing has. This thing has a crazy amount of range. Um. So basically, what is it? What is that? <laughs> what is that telekinesis? <laughs> I am gonna try to actually. We're not gonna get a charge off here, but we might get a cherry charge down. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. But by the way, that's gonna put it on a full cooldown. I'm gonna use it here on we're gonna get kelp kelp zad in that silence basically chaining them will will make them unable to go back and it, it will also 
um, it will also silence them for three seconds. So you can see how that's actually lamp to the slaughter because you're basically marking somebody to get killed. Uh, we are super. We actually one uh, one stack away from finishing our quest already. There it is, fresh meat complete. That's actually a very nice rhyme. Uh, and we're gonna start wrecking noobs. Honestly, this is where um, where Butcher just go, comes online. Like he is able to deal so much damage, um, just to basically wreck face. It's it's crazy. On the sub range, I am going to probably go for um, brutal strikes. Probably. Basically, basically after I Q, I will deal a little bit more auto attack damage for a few seconds. Um, like he's gonna get, get poked down. Looks like he will be fine. We will be just fine. Brutal strikes, come on. I pressed it. Let's just back here. We are super low and we don't want to fight this. I mean, I'm not low, but I really don't want to fight them right now. Uh, my ult is that up in 10. Look at that, 500 damage. And I use my Q and then you can see I will, I'm just gonna do some more damage. Dang, oh my lord, look at this Kelthus out here. Look at this tasty Kelthus out, hello my friend. I'm gonna use my ult here, actually it wasn't even needed. It was, I was just fine. Oh my god, oh my god, that's a lot of damage. I'm gonna need those fucking, those blood stacks, oh yeah. Uh, by the way, after you finish your quest, you can still you can still keep going with your stacks, uh, but it's not from minions anymore, it's only from hero kills. Hero kills will, will continue to give you 10 Stacks giving you like what five, um, five damage, uh, basically five damage per hit per kill of oh, per our attack, which is just nuts. You can see how much I'm chunking from this, um, from this boss himself. It's just like it's, it's, it's stupid. It's like once you get rolling, it's like you you won't stop at all. Like it's 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 fun to have these games like this, but it's not fun to get to have any other games on the future. Like when your team tra uh, feeds, or maybe you're not as lucky with uh, you know with your stack, and maybe the enemy team is super careful, and they're not feeding at all. Then the games are a little bit more tricky. They're still fun, but they're just a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna go for the Sonya here. I'm gonna use my my Q here to increase my damage, get bunch of kills, rape face. And and look good while uh, while doing it. Definitely look good while doing it. it looks like we're heading into level 16. I, I am looking at the map. Looks like Arzuljin is doing the right thing, and he's actually playing the map and 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 boring shit like that. Actually, it's not boring, but <laughs> I'm going for the hammer. I'm gonna drop my alt. It's not gonna not even gonna be needed. I'm gonna be trapped. That's a lot of damage coming my way. Hopefully, I can get out. Pretty soon. Oh no! Uh, if I only had, if you only, if I only got my W off on the uh, on the Illidan, if I had enough time, I would have been able to probably survive there, but and I'd probably even kill Illidan. But no, but no. We're gonna go for Enrage at level 16. Enrage is a very interesting talent. While below 50% of his maximum health, taking damage causes the Butcher to become enraged for 10 seconds, gaining 40% attack speed and 15 armor, reducing damage taken by 15%. Um, this was nerfed, I believe. Um, it, used, it definitely used to give you more armor. That, I remember that. But I think there was also another thing that they nerfed, which I, I'm actually not sure what it is. Enrage was just... It's still a stupid talent, and you should pretty much take it every single time you, you play Butcher. Um, there's no other reason to really do anything here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go over the build anyway after. after. Um, but um, they're they're split, boys. We can we can definitely do something here, boys. Hey, yo, what up, my boy? I'm I'm not even fucking, not even like she's just getting melted like. She just get melted, melted. Going for the kill for that. Hey boy, what's up, boy? Oh my god, let's get, let's get melted. He's gonna get silenced, so he won't be able to move. We're gonna save our Nova in the process and look good in while doing so. Yeah, boy. And we are sitting at 300 stacks. Our auto attack is 539 per auto attack without the Q buff. If you, I mean, if uh, six hundred nineteen with the Q buff, that is ridiculous, if you ask me. Oh yeah, boo! Oh yeah, hammer! Yeah, boo! Just get out of here. 
You can't even do anything about it, man. You have to be careful, actually, here. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go, team. Look how fast she just melts. It is, it is stupid. It's stupid how fast. Uh, he can melt people if they don't have any armor, um, any physical armor to be more precise on them. It is naughty how quickly he can melt people. Uh, they do have vision in there, but they don't see the Kerrigan. I am going to go for the Kel'Thuzad. He's going to be taken out very, very brief, very, very fast. Because like Ilden is, is next in line. I'm going to try to slow her. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to get her, but we are sitting at 320 stack arenas, dude. Damn, this is just a rape. This is just a rape. Four levels up. Um, why not? Let's go for Bolt of the Storm. Bolt of the Storm will allow me to uh, teleport a short distance um, when I activate it. Hey guys, you guys know. You guys all know and love Bolt of the Storm for what it is. You know what I mean, man? Yeah. Now, honestly, what we're doing is just looking for kills. Like, we, our team is not the best at pushing. We have Nova, we have me. Um, we have. Honestly, everybody in our team is not really that good at pushing. Um, so. so we're just looking for picks right now. We're looking for picks. Um, maybe try to pressure something up with uh, with some uh, with some. What's the name? With some. Uh, with some camps, with some minions, and you can see we we just get some poke and just move it. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And then if any of the enemy team oversteps, we just get the kill, get the blood, get the fresh meat stacks, and we just win. So there's pretty much the, the game is on the clock now. Uh, the enemy team it can still turn it around. I mean, it's here to a storm, so, so enemy team can always turn around. We when you know when we have when we have um, when we have uh, Colossal's teammates, but so this kill that is overstepping. And looks like he's gonna be taken out of the fight. I'm gonna TP here, take her out. I'm getting melted by the. Yeah, I was getting melted by. Nobody's nobody's paying attention to um to the hammer right there. It looks like she's gonna be taken out. Uh, our Nova is in trouble. She do, will use the ghost protocol to get out, to go into stealth immediately. That is crazy. Uh, I did get I did get focused by the by the hammer. I did not see her myself, and when I actually get tunnel vision as a butcher, I usually <laughs> don't regain uh, my vision at all. Looks like a very nice snipe will secure us a kill on uh, the enemy Illidan. So, should you ever pick butcher? Should you is is butcher a very is 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 butcher a good pick? You no know and yes. Um, he's much worse than he than he used to be. Uh, right after the rework, uh, right after the, the rework, it was actually good for you to go for a kill and die in the process as long as you got the blood, because he used to get twenty five stacks, um, twenty five stacks of meat, and he only lost ten, which means you you were you were still on the fifteen. Uh, 15 stack net gain after a death, uh, you know, you, when you got a kill and you died in the process, you know. Um, but right now, I do believe he is viable, but uh, only if you feel very comfortable with him and you have a team that will support you. Uh, if you don't have a team that will support you, if you don't have a support, if you don't have a proper frontline in front of you, of course, when the enemy team has it. They're actually keeping together. The enemy team, I'm actually super. I'm actually surprised. They're they're playing pretty well. What are you doing, baby girl? I'm actually not. Yeah, we we can't do too much here. Oh, there's some mids here. Look at me, dude. I'll take that free meat. Oh, he just missed her. God damn it. Like, she was just out of my range for that. I mean, we could, boss. I mean, I fucking chunk like a ding dong. Like one big ass ding dong. 
That's actually two for two, so we we actually did not win that fight at all. Look at that chunk. We wait for the slam and then we heal. Actually, we actually don't wait over the heal. Now I can now I can heal. Now I proc my enrage, which means I will be dealing uh, not more damage, but I will be dealing it faster, and also uh, taking less damage. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna for the Illidan. Illidan is dead. There is no reason why he. Sh oh my god! Just chunking him, just literally chunking everything that I basically hit. Holy moly! Seven hundred and seventeen or attack damage right at this second. That is just naughty. I do want to get one more kill before we finish this game. Looks like the enemy team is. That should be game actually. He's dead. Holy shit. I, I didn't even get the time <laughs> to get to him. He was already dead. Oh! Oh my lord. The blink into the lamp to the slaughter will finish us the game. I think that was a little bit... Um, it was a little bit... Like, the, the game kind of gave me that lump to, lump to the slaughter because I felt like Sonya was out of range there. <laughs> but, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. If we get a kill, we get a kill, dude. <sighs> awesome. I'm actually super happy that we got, the, we got a good game with Butcher. Um, again, I think with him... <sighs> It can really go either very, very good or very, very bad. There isn't like in the middle. You either snowball out of control, like like this game, or you just get no stacks and you get and yeah and yeah you, you get denied. Your, your stacks will get denied. You will, you will get killed and stuff like that. So we did, we did die, but we most of the death, I think one of the deaths was before. No, actually both of the deaths were after I already stacked. So it's all good. So it's all good. We didn't actually lose any stacks this game. Just good. Just really good. Um, his build is interesting in a way where only level 16 is locked. I think Enraged is just the best talent, and I wouldn't probably go for anything basic attacks against enemy heroes granting increased attack and movement speed, both for 3 seconds up to 25%. Um, which this also gives you more than 40 attack speed and gives you armor. Um, Um, <laughs> rip, <laughs> rip recording. Um, but um, yeah, I do believe that Enrage is just the best talent, honestly. Um, it gives you armor and more survivability. Not not a lot, but a lot of survivability. Um, honestly, also gives you more attack speed than this will, than this talent will ever do. Uh, crit thing slam. Honestly, you should already have a lot of CC on your team already. Uh, with your uh, with your Q, or uh, uh, basically this this makes it not fade and makes uh, the duration increase by thirty percent. This shouldn't actually make that much difference. Um, so Enrage is just the best talent out of the level sixteen. But every other talent is kind of like you actually have to question yourself: Do I need this talent or do I need something else? Which is good. Which I think is a good, very very healthy spot for a hero. So level one uh, block is very good and shot me are very good. I wouldn't probably go for Invigoration. This actually is not that good. Um, reducing its mana cost and and cooldown is not that great because Q is not your main damage, you know your main damage. So, chap me is great because it increases your wave clear, which is one of the bad things about Butcher. He cannot solo lane for shit, <laughs> uh, but this kind of makes it a little bit better. And also, he this also makes him better in in a four man rotation or three man rotation or just a rotation and at all. Just comes into a lane, clears it with his Q, and he and you good you. Uh, Log is just really good for survivability. Again, if, if the enemy team has a fast attacking hero, this is going to get no value. But if they have like a Illidan or a Lunara or Hammer or I don't know, if it's a quick match, if they have the other Butcher, Block is just a really good ability. Um, at level 4, I do go for Unrelenting Pursuit most of the time, but I do believe Cheap Shot has, has, its, has its place. 
um, cheap shot can actually do a lot of damage. This will make your Q do more damage when the enemy team, enemy, well, when the hero who you are attacking is uh, under any CC effects or slow root or stun. So this is gonna, you know, basically if you E into somebody, do you stun them and you Q right after? This is gonna deal uh, better damage. It's gonna deal more damage to that hero. But, but on the other hand, I prefer to close my gap to somebody much, much more often so unrending pursuit just makes sense um the length is just terrible i i, I, I wouldn't take it at all um so yeah unrending pursuit uh, but this also works sometimes uh if you if you need a little bit more burst damage and if the enemy team is like it has a lot of physical armor cheap shot is gonna help uh because it's actually ability ability damage that it does on level seven uh, insatiable blade used to be the way to go now i probably wouldn't go for it i like the victuals or i like the meat shield victuals basically what it's going to do every time a nearby enemy minion dies you will heal five percent of your health so from a single minion wave you can get almost half of your health up so which is pretty crazy especially that coupled with your cheap cheap uh chop meat it's just just naughty not a healing, but again, it's not going to be better healing in team fights. The mid shields are also really good against a bit against the ability damage. And basically, when you jump in on impact, when you charge in on impact, you will gain 50 armor from spells for 2.5 seconds. Obviously, give you a little bit more survivability, giving you a little bit more time to play around with deal more damage. Level 10, I do believe, slumped lump to slaughter is the best choice here. Um, Furnace Blast has its has its place but only in the comps where you are set to deal the most damage to the area so like for example like a comp with mash like a mash pit combo or maybe void prison combo or something like that where you are guaranteed to deal that damage if you aren't then i would probably just go for them to the just secure that kill or silence that person for three seconds it can be even used or not on your target for example you're going into your target, and but you're afraid that Oriel will hit hit the crystal on the target. You just silence her for three seconds, and your target is still dead. So very, very like a lot of uses. And level twenty is actually pretty impressive on this. Uh, level thirteen, I did go for Brutal Strike. I do believe this is the best out of the three, unless they have a very, a very heavy composition. Then I, I would consider going Savage Charge if you went for Unrelenting Pursuit. But Brutal Strikes, you saw how much damage I was do I was actually doing. Three basic attacks within five seconds will deal additional 15% of damage. Honestly, this is gonna obviously it's gonna scale up with when you scale up your you, you know you, with your meat. So this this just gets better and better. And of course, Savage Charge 10% of their health is nothing to laugh at. So these two are great. Cleaver was actually buffed, but I don't think this is a, this is a good good thing to go for. You you're not like very rarely you will see people clump up to a point where you'll be able to get your damage onto more people than just one person so i don't like it that much and it's, and you actually don't need more more wave clear because butcher is not about wave clear 16 and rage and then 20 i like to go for either bolt of the storm nexus blades or slaughterhouse slaughterhouse is good when the enemy team likes to clump so if they like have a, like a karazim healer uh, maybe Oriel healing or something like that. Slaughterhouse will chain everybody and silence everybody who is caught in uh, in, the, in that circle, which is just pff, naughty. If you can set up a three, four man slide of silence for three seconds, that's like a mash pit almost, almost because they can, they can still move. Um, next place is good when you don't need escapes, and honestly. Um, which doesn't have any. <laughs> um, but if you if you're just very very hard winning. Um, and or you have a very good support on you, next to the blades and then both of the storms if you need to escape or you just want to be a little bit more mobile and on the battlefield. I'm not actually sure why he still has both of the storm. I mean, it doesn't fit his lore, but I guess here the storm is not about lore. And that's pretty much Butcher. Um, be careful when you're stalking. Uh, try to be as, uh, as careful as possible. Try to rotate as much as possible. Try to set up kills as much as possible, but don't overextend for them too much. Um, be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your minimap. How uh, how is it looking? Are you gonna get Are you gonna get ganked? Are you a little bit too far up? Are you a little bit uh, too back? Uh, are you a little far away from the minions to not get XP? Those are all the things that are really matter with uh, with Butcher. And then in the late game, just know who you're gonna basically just press E, press E, auto attack a bunch, and you just win team fights, especially if you're already stacked. So. 
This has been Butcher. Thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate you your time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, slap that like rating. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, well, if you didn't enjoy it, tell me why. Go into the comments right now and type it down why you didn't enjoy the video. Maybe I talked too slow or too fast or I fucking stuttered or something like that. I don't know. You tell me. Um, I'm always here to improve and to entertain you guys. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and go and get your meat. Take care.